Have you been finding that a lot of the channels that you watch, or used to watch, are no longer actually putting out videos? They're putting out primarily hangouts, uh, live streams. It's like, yeah, you can you can be in contact with the person directly, but what about the actual content anymore? I'm not seeing it from from a number of people. I used to look so forward to hearing different people's views on some of the current events and just other stuff. And that isn't happening anymore. And now in order to, to find out about it, well, let's sit here and watch a three-hour, four-hour hangout. It's just, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I, uh, uh, I'm not really into that. I mean, after, I mean, it's neat when the hangout is going to be, become a part of it for a period of time, like as far as in the chat. Well, it's, it's nice to be in an actual hangout where you're in video, like, like a you know, Google hangout. It's nice to be in one of those. You can actually be a true participant in the, in the hangout, but to, to just casually, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch a hangout that's already been, you know, recorded. It's like, just not my thing. You know, the live interaction is what I would get out of that sort of thing. So, like, what happened to content that at least has some sort of structure in some way? It's missing. People aren't doing it very much. One person who I miss the most uh, doing these sorts of videos would be Pimp Monk. So what happened? It's all, it's all Hangout. I miss Liz Reptile doing uh, content. I miss the amazing atheist just isn't putting out just as much content generally as much as he used to. I may not agree with him, and I may he may piss me off sometimes, but uh, he certainly makes entertaining content, if nothing else. But just there's so many of the things I used to count on uh, just aren't doing stuff anymore. You know, David Pakman has his uh, his tilt on on current events, but all the stuff that I'm seeing him talk about is, is stuff that when I go to if I go to Google News, I'll see whatever he's talking about as one of the headlines for for something there. It's like okay, well, and so much stuff that when when you try to if you say anything negative about this administration, it's now met with the this this really over the top standards you're supposed to meet for for that information otherwise it's fake news and i understand that it's 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 important to have valid information but this stuff just goes it it well it certainly goes beyond the the level that people did uh, people would be supportive of uh, obama um, although with obama uh, the thing that the people would uh, cling to most of the time would be, oh, that you're racist, that's why you're saying something negative about him. Yeah. I suppose in some ways it's fair play. It shouldn't be. But I, it, when you look at it a certain way, I suppose it is. Yeah, that, that's kind of what's what's happened, really. Instead of people calling out, saying uh, the, the word uh, racist as the defense, it's now... Uh, Oh, fake news. That's the defense. That's how it is now. So it's kind of, it's kind of fucked. Well, um, banana.